No! The whole room is shaking! <laughs> yes! Yes! To be honest, mate, I've got absolutely no idea what lie they've sent in this box. This is some sort of mystery. Some sort of mystery. So, we may as well just get into this. Multi-room home audio. I have been a fan of it ever since I bought my house a couple of years back. I've been figuring out how I can get music in different rooms forward slash all of the rooms in my house. Now the first name that comes to mind, for me anyway, is Sonos. I mean, I like it, but the problem is with it, it's really, really expensive. And on my iPad here, as you can see, here is a set of Sonos in-ceiling speakers. 1,200 pounds. <laughs> 1,200 pounds, okay? Live have sent this out. It's not sponsored. They've just said, look, take a look. So I've just been looking on Lithe Audio's website. It looks like they've sent us this model here, which is actually a bit more expensive than I would have originally anticipated. It's under 500 pounds though, so less than half the price of the Sono system. The big thing for me is gonna be, how do you interact with these things? Is there an app? Is it gonna be as simple as Sonos? Because honestly, my grandma has and can use Sonos. And to be honest with you, She's kind of useless at those sorts of things. They make cheaper models. They make uh, a cheaper model. You can just buy one speaker and you can have it just have Bluetooth. These ones are the Wi-Fi connected ones. So I'm not sure what functionality you're actually gonna get. I'm hoping Spotify Connect, but these actually have the amplifier and everything built into one unit. So there's no separate unit here. So you might have noticed this box is a little bit smaller than this box and that's because this box houses the master speaker which has all the gubbins in it essentially. So it looks like you can actually plug into this speaker via RCA if you would like to and then this speaker here is just a passive speaker that you connect with this cable via I'm assuming these terminals here you've also got a power input on the speaker right there and it looks like there's no Ethernet so this is a Wi-Fi connected speaker okay so far so good how are we going to power these things? This is the power brick. Uh, it is a transformer, 24 volts, 2.5 amps. So you're gonna have to run power directly to these speakers. So the face plates are magnetic, as you can see right here, taking them off reveals the speaker. You've got a separate tweeter here, which is in the center of what looks like a bass driver or a mid bass driver. And then there's a little switch on there. We'll have to figure out what all this stuff does. Let's get them set up right now in the kitchen before we go and cut holes out of the ceiling. Okay, so I figured out a few things. Uh, here's the master speaker. I've connected them both together via the included cable. So here, right on the front of the speaker, you've got a switch. This is an EQ dial. So it adds, I think, 3 dB of gain or takes 3 dB of gain off. You've got a little switch under here, which that way it gives both speakers left and right. And if it's that way, this will be left and this will be right. So we actually have a green flashing light in here, which means that the speakers are ready to be set up and connected to Wi-Fi. So we go settings and then here, because these have the AirPlay tech built into them as well, I can set it up as an AirPlay speaker. Okay, so it's given me an option to name them. I'm gonna call them ensuite speakers because obviously these are gonna go in my ensuite in my bedroom. I've got high hopes. Like I mentioned, they make cheaper versions of these. You can just buy a single unit. These are the Wi-Fi ones. They make one that just has Bluetooth. So you could just Bluetooth straight from your phone if that's how you want to roll. I think the deal with these though is if you get the Wi-Fi ones, you get multiple ones around your house, they all work with the app, like Sonos essentially. It's like multi-room audio. I'm not sure how well it's gonna work. I've downloaded the app, we'll get these installed. I can't wait to see how they sound too. They are actually appearing as AirPlay speakers. So I'm not sure if you can see here, but in AirPlay on iOS, I've got ensuite speakers here. So if we click there, hopefully we can click play. Hey, look at the little woofer. Can you see that? Okay. Personally, I don't use Apple Music. I don't really use AirPlay all that often. Mainly for me, I'm gonna be using Spotify. So now they're connected to the network. Hopefully they should appear too in Spotify Connect. Yep, yeah, ensuite speakers. Let's click there. They're connecting, connected, click play. 
And that is the beauty of this. These things are going to live in the ceiling. They're inconspicuous. They're sort of hidden. They're not out. And the whole point is that what you want to do is walk into the bathroom just before you shower, think, oh, I want to listen to some music. Instead of having to go and click loads of buttons, turn on an amplifier and do loads of things, all you do is get your phone out and they're there in the app, whether it's AirPlay or Spotify Connect. And I think these things can actually access songs via a NAS. Let's say if you've got network attached storage. But I'm happy these are working now. Let's go get them installed. Okay, so I have circled the two holes in the ceiling, gone up into the loft to make sure we have no joists. Right, I'm gonna try and minimize the mess that I'm about to make. Okay, so if you look up now, it looks a little bit dreadful and kind of daunting. We've got two huge holes in the ceiling of my beautiful ensuite. However, I wanted to show you guys that I successfully took speaker hole number two out in one foul swoop. Look at the old precision on that bad boy up there. So now, hopefully, like I said, it does look daunting. Um, it was kind of easy to do that. It took probably about a minute per speaker. And to know how these things are actually gonna secure themselves into the ceiling. So they actually have, I don't know, we'll call them like little dog leg things here. So what happens is when you screw this little Phillips screw here, it's gonna pull out this little dog leg. And as you continue to uh, tighten the screw, it's gonna pull this dog leg closer to the edge of the speaker, which is gonna grip it to the plasterboard. It should. Go up there, nice and easy. Oh yeah, okay. That is absolutely no imperfections in that. And they actually look sick without the grill. Okay, so just so you'll get a taste of what these are gonna look like when they're completely installed. There you go, they look absolutely awesome. How professional does that look? We're professionals, sick. They are solid. What an install this has been so far. Like, completely flawless. There's not even any marks around the edge of the speakers. Like, they look insane. Okay, now luckily enough for me, I've actually got power up here in the loft. So I've plugged in an extension cable, which actually comes out to down here. Uh, this is really sketchy. God, if anybody was outside and could hear me, they'd be like, what is going on up there? Okay, and there we go. That is all connected right there. Now all that's left here is the power. And then this can go ahead and plug into our extension cable. Sick, okay, we should be good to go. Okay, so absolutely buzzing. We have completely overhauled the sound system in my tiny little ensuite. This is complete overkill, having two drivers in here, but you know what, I think it does it, and I think it looks great in between the three lights, having the two drivers, especially if I'm gonna be sat here, or stood here doing my teeth or whatever, or looking at myself in the mirror, I've got stereo imaging, sick. We can hopefully click play, and then... No! They sound great! Yeah, give me some volume! Okay, so there's actually a little switch on each of the speakers. Like I mentioned earlier, this gives you plus three uh, dB of, I think, the treble response. So I've got that on plus three because I like things to sound nice and crisp. And there is a dedicated switch for the treble response on each speaker. One thing I found out though is that if you get this set up, you can't put this speaker in a different room. You have to have a master speaker, let's call them a master speaker, um, with the amplifier and everything in it to have that as a zone or a separate room. And to talk about that next, we need to talk about the app that lives on your phone to control these. But so far, super, super happy with this. I want to say kind of a newbie experience. Everything has been really, really simple to install. For ceiling speakers, that is, you cut out the hole, you drill them up, you connect one speaker to the other, you connect it to your Wi-Fi. It's all pretty easy. 
Everything else you do is done through the app. Essentially, you open it and it says how many speakers it can find. You've got there ensuite speakers. You click there and then you get all of your music choices. So you have Spotify, Deezer, TuneIn, Tidal. I haven't actually managed to get Tidal to work, which is a bit of a shame because I do have a Tidal account. But what I do really like is because this is on the network connected to the Wi-Fi, it can actually go ahead and pick up my NAS, which is in the loft. So if I go through here, click on all music, there's loads of music right here that I've got, which is actually stored locally on my network that these speakers can access and it plays all this absolutely fine. So versus the competition then, Alex, what are you saying? Well, I think Sonos have everybody's pants so far down that they don't even notice what is going on. Spending 1,200 pounds on a set of stereo ceiling speakers is completely ludicrous. Yes, obviously you get all the creature comforts of Sonos. You get to do things like true play EQ and you actually have an EQ, which is a nice thing on Sonos's end. But again, all of that cash when you're getting the same experience down here for this price, well, I wouldn't really say you needed to look much further than this light audio gear. The one thing I can't comment on is the multi-room experience because I don't have multiple zones of these live speakers, but if they're anything like these speakers and it works, then you know what? I'd happily recommend it. And I'm just happy that I've got really good audio now in my ensuite. Okay, ensuite speakers, let's click play. I don't know what more to say guys. My name's been Alex, this has been TechFlow, and we'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.